squats 225 pounds. She benches 190. She is the last pure athlete, Charlie Gray. Her opponent in the corner to my left, a third generation athlete, wrestling out of Charlotte, North Carolina, Tessa Blanchard. Main event time here at WWR, Brick House. Jordan Bur Grace, one-on-one, -on -one. Tessa Blanchard, first time I ever. I say first time ever, right? <laughs> Jordan Grace, Whoa. quick reversal. Of course, first time ever meeting. I'm not sure when they would have had an opportunity to cross paths otherwise, given Tessa Blanchard's schedule. She was supposed to compete at Identity Crisis, but The Rock called on her to do a movie, so. Right, and she was in Japan, like, yesterday. Yeah, so. Like, meanwhile, no, like almost literally yesterday. Hey, I know. This is her first match back on American soil. And meanwhile, Jordan Grace has been making the drives as uh, as they say nowadays, right? That's something they say. It's something someone says. Somebody says it. It's a thing. It's a bunch of quick reversals here. Very evenly matched in the early going. Of course, last time we saw Tessa Blanchard compete here at Arts at the Armory, she was going one-on-one -on -one with Ricochet, a match that she came out on top of. So, uh, Jordan's got a work cut off for her tonight, but she's pretty strong. She's been uh, picking up a lot of steam over the past couple years. Jordan Grace Whoa. actually making her debut here in this very building, accompanying John's, uh, excuse me, Jonathan Gresham against uh, a wily Veda Scott and Ryan Galeone. Jordan finally caught her. That massive arm of Jordan Grace. I think she caught Tessa there. She's got her hung up on the ropes. Oh! Driving her down with that DDT on the apron, from the apron. Didn't hook the leg there, though. Yeah, that was a big kick out from Tessa Blanchard. I always wonder, you know, the amount of traveling that these competitors do, how much wear and tear in their body, not only from the matches, but also the travel. And then, I mean, when you factor in jet lag too, I mean, it's kind of crazy that Tessa Blanchard wouldn't take a week off uh, before coming back from Japan to kind of get her bearings about Ooh. her. Wonder if maybe she rushed into things in this match with Jordan Grace. But again, having to miss Identity Crisis, I knew just how much it meant to her to be able to come back here and compete for the, the WWR fans. So it's right. definitely important for her to be here today. And, uh, you know, Jordan Grace, I know she was in Virginia last night because I was there with her, and that was, that was a trek. And uh, Tessa Blanchard, it's like a 14 hour flight and then flying back from Florida to here. You know, she's been in the air for like five days. Well, Jordan certainly looks like she's uh, better condition right now. Least worse for wear. She's got the torture rack applied, a potential submission predicament. Really just stretching Tessa over her shoulders. Whoa! Look at this counter though. Taking Jordan down. Jordan quick to kick out. Tessa rolled down the back. Oh! Potter! Well, that wasn't a snap, man. Potter with that diamond cutter. Jordan! Uh oh. Jordan able to sidestep her. She's got her up on her shoulders in a very dangerous position. Oh. Just drives her down face first. Nothing but steal on the outside. Two! Ref starting the count. Yeah! Yeah. I'm gonna wonder if Jordan Grace is gonna continue to punish Tessa on the floor, or maybe, oh, to bring her inside the ring. Is the Tessa referee hearing back. the 10 count? Ooh. Surprised to see Tessa on her feet this soon. But we are early into the match. Well, Jordan was looking for a dive. Tessa oh. sidestepping her and turning her to inside out with a big spear. Both women are down. Struggling to get to their 
feet. Rev set five. Up before the six. Four big elbows from Tessa Blanchard. Jordan Grace sent hard into that second rope. Oh, and a drop kick to the back. It's a trademark combo from Tessa Blanchard. Another big elbow. Jordan uses a similar combination in the corner. It's absolutely brutal. Oh, got the foot up. Came charging in again. That was not a smart decision. Oh, I think we're about to see that corner combination now. Oh, oh double knees. You know what's next? Oh! A foul. And uh, let me tell you, that sucks every single time. Yeah, I can't imagine. It's the worst. I love to watch other people fall victim to it, but it's the worst. Yeah, well, you're a sicko. What do you want? <laughs> now Jordan Grace, what's she looking for here? Maybe a muscle buster? Oh, this is new to her arsenal, but she started using it. A big old muscle buster right in the center of the ring. One, two, wow. Samoa who? I watched Jordan Grace uh, bust that. Uh, no pun intended. Bust that out last night in Virginia. How could there not? It's a muscle buster. Of course, there's a pun intended. Beta. <clears throat> and uh, she's, she's victorious last night with that maneuver. Uh, she, well, she's added it to her arsenal now. She's got to master it because that is a devastating maneuver when applied properly. Either that or Tessa Blanchard is just out of control, tough right now. Uh oh, Jordan Grace going for the bear hog. She's defeated a number of opponents she with what seems has. to be a rudimentary hold when applied by any other competitor. But you can tell that Tessa's done her homework because she does not want to be in that hold for very long. She's trying to get that guillotine. Oh, oh. And the hammerlock DDT. Beautiful transition there. When that arm is trapped, it makes it virtually impossible for you to protect yourself. It's all impact on the top of your skull. The fact that Jordan's still trying to fight back is a valiant effort. Oh! oh. But instead, she finds herself in the wrong part of town with two knees to her face. It's a code breaker variation off the second. Look at her folding press. Hand on the ropes. And when, you're, when your legs are trapped like that with something like that code breaker, you have, you've nowhere to go. You know, you don't have anywhere to bounce. Face first into the buckle. Building up ahead of steam. Elevated up and over. Catches herself on the apron. Fires the first shots. Tessa Blanchard out of the way again this time with that waist lock. Going Maybe for that. For German. Yep. Oh, look at the strength of Jordan Grace. No. I mean, that was perfect execution to lift your opponent over your head, spin them around 180 degrees, and drive them on their skull. I mean, that is impressive. Jordan, I don't know what Jordan has left. I mean, maybe she's going to be going back to the bear hug. Obviously, a maneuver like an Irish whip into the buckle. Oh, oh. but Tessa sidestepped her. And another drop kick. Jordan Grace, she might be out. Another folding press from Tessa, this time away from the ropes. And this time, Jordan Grace forced to kick out to exert the energy Tessa, to keep this match alive for her. Tessa trying to use all her body weight to keep her down, but Jordan was still able to kick out. Big handful of hair, bringing her up. Referee administering a warning. Huge. Solid shots, huh? Huge, yeah. Huge. Uh-oh. Jordan really wrenching in that bear hug and now just ragdolling Tessa around. She's out. What a win for Jordan Grace. Well, Veda Scott, I want to thank you for calling. Brick House with me is Jordan Grace is victorious in a big first time ever match over Tessa Blanchard. Thanking everybody watching, whether it's on uh, YouTube.com slash WWR Pro Wrestling Beyond Demand or Smart Mark Video.